Hello everyone, welcome back to Railgrade. We are continuing with our playthrough of the S-Rank missions here. So, uh, ducking into bonus mission for Region 15 today, extra tooling. It's a 50 minutes mission, let's see what we need to do. 512 widgets. Widget supply is getting mismatched. Your task is to develop this region into a widget stamping powerhouse. Use either oil or coal to produce your plastics. Grow the region city to work your factories. Okay. Okay. We got six workers right now. We have a city right here. And that looks like it's the only city. Oil power plant right there. Some punctures right there. Seems like a fairly good thing. So bottom left hand corner we got an oil patch. Top left hand corner we got even more oil. We have some water, got a bunch of coal, and then we have more water and more coil, coal, coil, coal. <laughs> so it looks like we have oil on the left side, coal on the right side, and then water in between each of them. So we need to produce widgets and we need to export them, which exports from the Zeppelin dock. How do we get this one to grow? With water probably, right? Yes, first with water and then uh, with energy or widgets. How do we produce widgets? I don't remember. Uh, widgets, tool die with plastics, one to one. And we can produce plastics either with hard mold with the coal or we can produce plastic with plasticizer. Either one is more or less the same. So the difference is non-existent okay we're gonna start with a little bit of water then mm, since we already have power set up here maybe we should use coal for power and then focus on oil for the other stuff how about that we can try that yeah i'm gonna set this up we're gonna get a solution here and then i'll be right back with you guys just as usual okay so i have uh, lost my temp temper here <laughs> uh, i just failed my third attempt and we're gonna do it completely differently this time around i have seen a lot of people doing stuff like this so i'm gonna try it out and see how it works uh, I usually do very elaborate loops and things. You can go back and look at my channel. You'll see. I, I'm making a lot of weird stuff on this channel. And uh, today we're going to try to do something that I probably think is a little bit cheesy. But if it works, it works, right? So let's just try and see how it goes. The idea is that I'm going to do as short routes as possible and do one route for each factory with only one train going on each route. That's the plan. Let's see if we can make that work. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go, this guy is gonna go right here. We're gonna go boom, boom, boom. And probably gonna need one more train than that on here. But yeah, we'll do one to begin with. He will just go back and forth with water into the city. And then we're gonna do something similar right here. We're gonna have this guy. This is probably the most cheesy one to be honest. We'll just do that uh, and then this guy is gonna do plastic we might even be able to expand you and do like four like that. These guys are then bringing everything over to the tool uh, dice tool and then we're gonna have you pick up widgets and go back and forth between the city. Let's see how this works. I think this should be pretty good. And everything we need is some more workers here. And uptime should be locked at 100% for all of these because the ratios are perfect. Except for here we are kind of missing one worker still. So once we get enough water to grow one more worker we should have a perfect ratio. And I'm just going to add these sort of setups to a little bit everywhere. That's my plan. 
Is the math here incorrect? 16 seconds for one plastic. You need one plastic every 32 seconds. So yeah, the math should be perfect. Which it looks like it is. Because the uptime is remaining at 100. Really good. So. And we are delivering the widgets to the wrong place. Of course we are. Why wouldn't we be? Dilly. Uh, you are gonna go all the way down here, actually. And get rid of that. Now then. Uh, what if we do... That. Get rid of this. So if I wanna bring in something to... Speed this up. I'll just bring that right here. And that can deliver to literally everyone. Yes, please. Sounds like a great idea. So right there, and then we'll go... Water pump. Boom. We'll go you down. I guess here. Where's the existing track near a destination? Is that not near a destination, you say? Maybe it can't actually go that high. Yeah, that seems to have been it. If we do that, we can then bring in water into there. And then we can also bring in power from... Let's get a old power plant here. And let's do all mine. Let's place a valid spot. Why is that not a valid spot? Uh, so you will go to here. Something like... Really? And we can now place a train onto here. I do believe two should be fine. I don't think we need more than two. No workers, that's fine. We can put workers in there. You should then go... Over here if we can get enough money. At some point. There we go. So that will bring in water and power to all of this, and that will just double their production. <laughs> now that I'm, I'm hearing myself explaining how this works, I kind of understand why people do it this way. Doing loops when it's not absolutely necessary kind of doesn't make sense. Uh, so, water... Preferably with, with the train in front. So that's him done. This guy will be starting to work here soon. You're not growing anymore. This guy is definitely too big. Don't need to be that big. Maybe three tiles. And let's see. You are just going back and forth there. Do the same here. As long as you're just using one train, I think it actually makes sense to have have these just go back and forth like this. You producing how's this looking? Are we getting water everywhere? Almost. And we're not building up anything alarming either. Very good. That should be kind of what we need here. I need another 
train police, or maybe not. City is not growing. I kind of need the city to start growing though, so maybe we can pl put another, another one of these. Go over here with that and with that. We could probably double this train. Just do this. It will take a little bit longer to turn around, but I still think he will be able to actually keep up. Yeah, if we do that, that should be fine. And then you can deliver that, and then we'll get rid of this guy. Sell him. Do something like that. And add one more water station. Yeah, that should be fine. Then he can keep up with that. Now then, should we build another one of these stations then maybe? Oh, we're actually building up proper amount of stuff here now. Let's do four there, let's do four here. There, let's get some more plastics into here. Double our production again if we get a little bit more money. Definitely do not need eight slots. We can probably do just fine with six. I guess that math should be adding up as well. Is this looking? You're looking kind of fine. Are you guys building up a lot now? A little bit. Let's see if we can remedy that. Oh wow. Yeah, he doesn't stand a chance to do this actually. Uh, we do nine trains without you chugging too much. So, let's get our plasticizer down here. Boom. Get some workers in there. And also, let's get our... Full die. That's the level up of the city. He's the first level. So, now we need the tools. There, let's get one of you onto here. Get some workers in there. And now we actually need power here. Do we have power anywhere? I don't really think we have a good way to producing power, right? No. We could do this though. What if we go oil well? Right there. than 20. Should be able to do that. Get those on. Get you both on. Come on. One of this. And one train going. Like this. Connect up to the upper side here. I wonder if two tiles is actually going to be enough here. I have my doubts, but we'll try. Get the train onto here with two of those. Let's turn around. So let's get you there. Let's get rid of these. Let's have you go this way instead. That should improve the production for these two, which means that you should be doing more. And the city should start to grow again. So let's keep an eye on this guy so we can add that back. And these are looking fine. So we're gonna have this guy go down here. 
put to here and then into that place with a couple of you. Three. And let's see. One, two, three. Get rid of you. And let's see. This guy there. Don't have enough money. Come on, come on, come on. 30 minutes left to go. We have 100 delivered. So we still have some... Some left, so to say. Okay, now we are actually not keeping up here. So let's go... Four of you guys. Let's turn you around as well. Make sure you're picking up everything. And I think this should be pretty good. We do have the money now to place down another tool die. Don't have any workers for it though, but we can place those into there. How's this looking? You are full. I think this guy can probably support another one. And it looks like it. Let's see. Water. You want to have go over there. So maybe have you go this way instead. And let's see. Anything else? I think that's pretty good. We still need some power. I will fix that as well. That will be from another coal mine. So. Right here. Couple of those. One of you going straight over here. I think that should keep us going at least. Now I just need to make sure that we're delivering water everywhere. And of course this guy should not actually have been here. He should have been here. So now we're having water everywhere and these guys will be getting power once this guy delivers. Very good. And now you should be closer to 100% uptime as well. Because these guys are doing 16 per second and you need... Ah, there. 8 per second. <laughs> one every second. No. One every eight seconds. That's how we want it. So, are you guys running now? Yes, you are. These are looking good. Okay. So, we could go with even one more now. That's an option. Uh, if we go oil well. Boom, boom. We can then have... Industry Plasticizer And then from the Plasticizer go a few steps Come to here where we will put the Where is it? Tool die Bam, bam. Soon. Great. Two of those. Two of you. Okay, so this should be a little bit more producing. I think we should actually have split you guys up a little bit. And then you should go around this way. Over to here. A couple of those. You at least one worker in there once we have the money for it. It should be any minute now. And let's get one of the workers on here as well. So we actually need to produce more coal power. And the way to do that is either to upgrade these or to add more to it. Could add more to it actually. Let's get a couple more coal mines. You 
you will go there. You will go here. We'll have that. Do that. I just messed this up. Yeah. That'll do. And let's see a couple of those. A couple of you. Get one of those. And that. And that should actually cover a lot more power here. So there. Two of those. Two of these. That guy with three of them maybe. I don't think we need more than three, to be honest. There we go. These guys are looking fine. You guys are looking fine. We can start upgrading stuff here as well. Do we not have any water here? Oh, we're actually running out of water. Okay. That's unfortunate. Can we deal with that anyhow? Yeah, if we go this way. Place water on the back side instead. So, not an incinerator, but an industry water pump. Damn. Skipping station, station's full. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's see if we can get these working now. So we have 9,000. Let's start upgrading a few of these then. Upgrade you. With these guys. That's you guys working a little bit faster. Let's see how that goes with our trains. We might actually need new train stuff. So this guy is already ready for six at a time. So with a little bit of luck, he should be fine. Okay, 18 minutes left. We've done 250 at this point. How is this looking? Are we able to keep up? I think we are, so we can easily upgrade all of these as well. That's really good. Uh, let's get these upgraded as well then. How much are we producing now? We are producing 17 per minute. So might actually be enough for us to be able to finish this mission. A little bit of luck we should be able to get this done. We can also build one more of these setups until we have to go over here, which I would like to avoid. We can also do it on coal, but yeah, not perfect. Not perfect. I would like to be able to upgrade them instead. Uh, we technically have six of these to uh, tool dies now going, so that should count for something, right? All of these are fine. You guys are okay. Uh, we can upgrade you because you are already behind a little bit. And then we're gonna upgrade these oil wells next. Yeah, this seems to be way better than doing the loops that I usually do. Even with these longer routes, it's actually kinda possible with six tile trains. So, uh, I think in the future we're gonna continue doing it this way. Seems to be working. We haven't really made it yet. We're at 300, but that's way better than I've been doing with my loops. Our loop de loops. So that is everything here upgraded. Let's get these guys upgraded next. It's interesting that these are actually keeping up. Is it because you don't have... No, you do have catalyst. I'm thinking if you didn't have enough water. But no, you do You do get water. Oh, it's like loading as it's leaving. Interesting. So, could I get... A couple more trains on there. Is that possible? 
Oh, is he putting into that guy as well? Maybe he is. Maybe that's my problem. He's working double. We have another level up for the city. Next time we would be needing furniture. I don't think I'm gonna deal with that though. I think we can kind of just let this run now and it should finish itself. It'll just instantly turn around. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. So how can I bring down the time it takes for him to turn around? If we go to four instead, and it takes you a second to turn around, and then we'll just delete all of this. And as soon as you turn around, I'm gonna delete everything here as well. Hold on, are you not delivering now all of a sudden? Why was he delivering before, but not now? Hmm. You were doing that before. I guess it has to be two separate stations. Gotcha. Gotcha. I wonder if there's trains that make it turn around faster than others. As long as you have a full place, then it should be able to get going like constantly then. Uh, yeah. You just need one small station, and then it will load and unload consistently on another. Talking about cheesy, by the way. We're down to 46 left to go, and we have 9 minutes on the clock, so... Uh, I think this is gonna be just fine. I think this is gonna be just fine. 32 left to go, how much are we producing? We're producing 23.3 at the, mean, at the moment. Customized to Excel. <laughs> That's the water looking. Water is like way overkill. So if we wanted to go even further with this, we would go with the uh, furniture assemblers as well. I don't care. Doesn't matter to me. 16 left to go. We will be done with this in no time. No time, I'm telling you. Feels good, man. After three attempts, I finally find a solution. And I guess this is how we're gonna continue. Seems like the easiest way to play the game at the moment. If they don't want me making loops, we won't be making loops. Unless it's blatantly obvious that that's the way you wanna do it. Like super long trips, for example, I imagine, would be better with a loop. Extra tooling, 42 minutes, not too shabby. I'm actually quite happy with that. I hope that you are happy with the episode as well, that you have enjoyed it, and that you, of course, have clicked that like button. Make sure that you are subscribed, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye, everyone. <laughs>